The uh, Y linear adjusters are in place and adjusted. Now, while it should be noted that I'm borrowing basing this on uh, Tech 2C's Hypercube, I'm having to make a number of modifications along the way due to uh, my basic design decisions and the fact that I'm using an A A8 as the foundation for the parts for this build. Now one of the big differences in, well one of the first differences I've come across in this build is the XY joiner. Tech 2C's had the rails 50 millimeters apart on center. The A8 only uses approximately 45. Now I think that might be slightly more than 45 because when the carriage gets to the end it starts to stick. So I'm going to try moving that to a 46 millimeter spacing and see how that works out. The same thing on the other end. But all in all the adjusters seem to be working to help square everything up. So until the next installment we'll leave you with this and I'll let you know what I find out with the 46 millimeter on center I have ordered the belts for it but they haven't come in yet I've also ordered some idler pulleys uh, it should also be noted I attempted to print the bushings in place because the linear bearings that came with the A8 are extremely substandard. So but that is right now my bearing bushing on this side is tight, but the bearing on the bushing on this side is too loose. They, I'm getting very inconsistent print quality out of the A8. And if you look here. I can get it to focus on it. You can see the ribbing along the Z axis of this part here. Whereas on this part here, the ribbing is much less. So inconsistent results on the A8. I haven't figured out what the problem with it is. Uh, lead screws, uh, Z wobble. I've done all the fixes I can find for it and I'm still getting this Z banding on it. So that's one of the reasons I'm moving to a hypercube design. Because the bushings weren't really working out that well. I expanded the gap between the rails to 46 millimeters on center. And now the glide is perfect on the extruder gantry. Unfortunately, there is so much play in these bushings and rails that I'm either going to have to find bushings that are the right size or rails that are the right size. Now, being as how I'm here in America, it might be possible to find the uh, 5 16 inch bearings linear bearings easier than it is to find 8 millimeter stainless steel rods. But I'd rather go with the rods if possible because out of the box most of these rods have a slight bend in them. 
and I'd rather get straight rods and have them installed and know that they're going to ride correctly. But ordering off, off of an online source, I can't be guaranteed that my 8mm rods are going to be 8mm, so I'll have to source them locally. So until the next update, when I get the, the next parts put together, I'm still waiting on belts and I'm still waiting on pulleys. So I'm going to work on designing the motor mounts and see how far I can get on that. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.